Greetings from Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Once again, it's Pete with you. Hey, we've got Alliance's Toy Hauler, model number 40V13, and this is a 2023 unit. It is packed with features and neat stuff that I know you're gonna love. Pardon me if I go a little quickly here, but we wanna cover everything and be as brief as we can, all right? We're gonna start down here with the Kurt Rotoflex pin box on board down underneath. Yep, Jen said is installed on this particular unit. That is an option that's, uh, again, on this particular unit. Lithium ion battery comes standard with the unit. Up here, we've got your, well, it's your hydraulics there, but also your 40 amp charge control unit is installed on there. That's because this one has the solar package. You have twin 320 watt solar panels on the top. That's, yeah, 640 uh, watts worth of charge capability there. Very impressive. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the regular view camera here so you can see the, up on top, we've got that aerodynamic cap with the cap lighting, LED lighting, embedded lighting built in on there. Coming around over to here, we do have the level up, hydraulic level system, and the controls for that are, well, right behind over here. Power it up, take a quick peek. Okay, these are slam latch doors, by the way. And look at the thickness of that door. That's an impressive door. It's very sturdy. These slam latches do have lever locks on them, which makes opening and closing very easy. Okay, on over to here, we have motion activated lighting. Watch, there you go, <laughs> way cool. One, two of them on the pass through and a third one right over here, so you're well lit down underneath. Wow, you got all kinds of access here to your unified control uh, and docking center over here, the pump switch. We have cable connections here for exterior park cable, if you wish, GFCI protected electrical outlet as well as camp shower. And here is your valve work, black tank flush included on here and your pass through slug underneath. Now, Valor uh, and Alliance, they do a great job in here of making things easy to work on should you ever need to work on them. And that does happen from time to time. But right behind here, easy, quick access, pin it back shut, there you go and otherwise you can just forget it and it's right there. Now the color-coded wiring on board here. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that as we go along. Down underneath the low point drains, triple axle on this. This is also a triple slide out floor plan, by the way. These are gonna be nitrogen filled radial tires on those deluxe brushed aluminum rims. And this is going to be the CRE 3000 shackles down underneath suspension system on there, on your uh, triple tandems there. And over to here is the fuel station. Dual tank fuel station there with fuel station controls and well, here's where the rubber meets the road. Wah. There you go. And the ladder pins up and out of the way when you don't want it. Very easy to quickly pull that down off of the hinge mechanism and voila, walk on roof there, easy access for it. 50 amp electrical service is included on the unit. This is gonna be with the twist lock cord set on board there. And a cord set about 25 feet long on that. Party deck, hey, it's party time. We're gonna step back and take a look at Party Central from this angle over here. There you go. I set things up already, including the optional rear awning that's included on this particular unit. Here is the full surround and rear steps right there. Okay, we can take a quick look inside from this angle. And we're going to have to run around to the other side to see the campsite. Meanwhile, our tank capacities, 98 gallons fresh water capacity, 106 gallons for gray tank and another 106 gallon black tank. Very impressive. This is really a, uh, for its size, is a fantastic boondocking, off-road, dry camping. Well, I won't say off-road necessarily, but certainly a dry camping scenario uh, would certainly apply on here. We have a GVWR of 20,000 pounds on here. That's 15,000 dry. So it's gonna yield you in the ballpark of 5,000 pounds cargo carrying capacity, give or take just a few. We're talking in rounded figures there. Okay, now we're back over to Party Deck Central. Party Central from back over on this side. This is gonna be the Three Seasons porch with the uh, the windows, the window slash door treatment on there. We'll see those from the inside as well. Let's step back and look at the campsite from over here. And here you've got uh, dual awnings on the campsite on this side. 
twin cargo lights. Oops, I don't have them turned on for you there. But you have twin LED cargo lights up above. And this is going to be your suspension system to make closing this very simple and easy. It's a 12 volt deployed, uh, that is to say the interlock system on there is 12 volt activated with the key. Now, speaking of 12 volt, look at this. This is way cool. This is a really beefy little compressor on board there. Put your hose underneath there, it all stores right behind that steel door right there, lock it up and away you go. That's the activation switch there for that little compressor. It's a pretty impressive little compressor for its size, for its size, of course. And that's 12 volt once again, so that's going to be accessible to you when you're away from the power plug. All right, here's the back garage door. Three-step aluminum staircase leads up to it. Awning number two of three, and here's awning number one. I guess we're counting backwards on here. Uh, we'll step back over here to take a quick look at the triple axle system from here. We have an exterior outlet on there. This unit does have the Valor Independence package, three ACs on board there, plus the 40K BTU furnace, all sorts of other neat things we're gonna discover on the inside. Also has the performance running gear package and the garage management system package as well, and masters of 12 volt package. Well, we're covering those as fast as we can. These TVs, except for the one in the main living room, the other ones are 12 volt activated too. See, I told you about boondocking, dry camping and that, there you go. All right, here's your exterior refrigerator and entertainment speakers included on there. A left and a right stereo speaker in the appropriate place. Slam latch door on there again with those neat latches that we discussed earlier. All right, here's Lippert solid one piece staircase. And that is, that does have the assist on it, has hydraulic assist on there from the inside. We have a neat picture of that too. So you don't have to struggle lifting that up to fold it up there. It folds up just as easy as can be. And how about this for the fold away D assist handle? I guess that's kind of like letter D that's been, oh, I don't know, an extended D handle. Way cool. And that slides out just like any other wood as well. Pass through storage right through here. 101 inch wide body on this unit, by the way. Oh, you're probably wondering over here, we've got our quick connect there to spray port. And you can see the pass through storage right through there. Again, with those same thick, really awesome doors and the slam latches down below. And down underneath there is going to be a, a uh, LP quick connect for you. All right, let's step onto the inside. With another reminder, this presentation comes to you by way of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. All right, we're gonna open up the main door, nice wide doorway with there. This is the Lippert solid staircase and they mean solid. There is your hydraulic mechanism in there to make folding up that staircase just a snap, way easy. Okay, we're gonna dash through here, go back to the business end. Let's talk garage here real quick. 13 foot garage on here. Very generous sized garage. I left the bathroom door open on it, as you can see over through there, garage door. This is going to be the Happy Jack system and the third of the three air conditioned systems on board. Remember, you got 50 amp service, so you're good to go there. I just left that bunk, um, the uh, ladder just hooked up there. Obviously, that's not the way it's to be used, but I put it there to get it out of the way. You know the drill. All right, these do fold down, of course, to form your back bunk bunk under i guess you call it here otherwise you have two sofas converts very easy egress windows to the left and to the right and plenty of lighting on here it's very very well lit here's the three seasons porch action we're going to slide the doors open here and just take a quick peek at party central out here i left the gate open on it we could shut the door like that and away you go i won't take time to pin it shut but it is way cool. And this one really folds up really easily. It has these cool little tangs down underneath here. One quick step on that and it pulls loose. You can fold it up really very easily. Struts on the support on Party Central. And there you go again, back to our three seasons porch down there. Cleats can attach for tie downs right through that strip right through there. You've seen those before. So that's really neat. You're not limited by D-ring tie downs, but you can adjust those, move them to suit whatever you're trying to put back here for your toys. Okay, hey, and you know what? There's what I talked to you about. 12 volt on the TV set, way cool. So that you can operate, don't need to have the gen set running, don't have to have the power pole, etc. Now, this is one of two prep areas for washer and dryer. 
some folks don't like that washer and dryer in the garage, that's okay. We'll show you the other place in a little bit. All kinds of controls in here. Back bath, half bath, I guess you'd call it there. China porcelain foot flush stool down there with the heat duct in there, plus the max air vent up above. There we go. Let's back out of the potty and head into the main part of the coach because we're trying to move right along here. No carpet in here. No carpet. Now that's usually, well, that's, that's a big plus in the toy hauler. Let's start off way up as I pan around, way up overhead there. There's the bunk over, common as you'd have everywhere. Oh, I forgot to mention the insulated garage floor on there as well. All right, here is your pantry, plenty of storage capability and it's well lit behind it there. And in behind this little doodad, one of many Max Air vent fans, we've got it going right for you up here. I bet you didn't even know, you could hardly even hear it. That works fantastic. And they're generously apportioned because it's one of several full-sized power vents throughout the unit. Okay, over here we have a 17 cubic foot refrigerator. That's a 12 volt Everchill refrigerator. We'll take a quick peek at it from the, opening the doors up from there. There you go. And down underneath the slide out double drawer system on the freezer, well lit too. Very well designed. I just love the way these have turned out. And see what I was telling you about the 12 volt thing? Mountains of stuff. Tons of things that run on 12 volt. And it's, yeah, it's really a great system. And as I said, set up with those dual solar panels up above, plenty of charge capability provided through there. Egress window in the back of the unit. This is a nice tall slide out. You're not gonna hit your head on the top of the fascia there. This is gonna be the theater seating for three. Sure, why not? And over here, the love seat. Again, no carpet on here. Very easy to keep it clean. And you know when you're in the toy hauler how that goes, right? Hey, there's the smart wire uh, little reminder on there. All the wiring is color coded. And that is way neat. If it ever comes time to add accessories, change something, modify something, or fix something. A matter of fact, those colors are notated pretty well in here, let alone in your user's guide or online. So it makes figuring out what wires are which very, very easy and way cool. Solar control up over to the side there. Let's slap this shut and look at some of the controls in back here on the control panel. Dimmer switch on the LED lighting in there. There's your own and uh, remote start, prime and start on the gen set. Plenty of switches to deal with your slide outs, your awnings, and all kinds of, well, you know the drill, right? Tank heat, you know what? I forgot to mention that, there you go. Now you got it, tank heat, gas and electric on the water heater as well. Something else, what you don't see, no floor vents. I'm glad they stuck that little sticker on there. I almost forgot about that. Way cool, on the main level at least here, no floor vents. And uh, by the way, too, there's not a there's not a step going out to the garage. It's relatively close to a flush floor on the garage. Way neat. Fireplace is as beautiful as it is functional. Provides additional supplemental heat. This is 110 volt um, on the TV. This is the only one though that must be 110 volts. Otherwise, hey, you've got 12 volt TVs all around throughout. This is Entertainment Center by JBL. Stereo speakers included on there. Swing up countertop extensions right over here. And here is your farm style sink with the high rise faucet, the, the spray attached nozzle on it. And I'm gonna swing it out to the side so you can see that stainless steel recessed mount sink makes it easier to keep it clean, right? And over to here, the flip top glass range cover, high output three burner range top. 12 volt ignition on that too, and the oven below, and convection microwave oven up above. Who could ask for anything more? How about that? Way cool. All right, there's your main air conditioner right through there. That's a Coleman Mach thermostat controlled on the wall. Let's step on to the upper deck. I know, we're, we're really just, just moving at the speed of light, right? I'm sorry, but we do need to do that. We got a lot to cover in here. Everyone's favorite room, the Biffy, and that's Biffy number two, full bath in here. China porcelain foot flush stool on there. Heating duct down below. 
and plenty of lavatory space in here for a slightly smaller footprint bathroom. It is well apportioned accordingly with a nice backlit uh, medicine cabinet. Here is your vent fan up over and in here, try sliding glass doors. Way cool with the seats in there. Full bath surround goes all the way up in the skylight overhead. You know the drill on that as well. Over here, king size bed. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what we're talking about with room to spare because you have a little bit of storage left and right for clock radio or, or and plus the USBs for charging your cell phone. That's right, you're gonna put your cell phone on those at night, I suppose, too. As I said again, windows and window treatments on the sides of the slide. That makes for a very elegant uh, bedroom slide in here. Serta mattress on board and nicely uh, treated as well. All right, now, well, actually we'll start with AC up above. It is fully ducted as well. We got the ducts here and ducts there and ducts everywhere, right? Uh, over to here, bright, cheery closet, well lit with two lights and look at that. Yeah, you are prepped for washer and dryer should you opt instead to put it here in the bedroom. Some folks may. Well, you got that capability. You have that flexibility, right? And that's what it's all about, is being able to decide for yourself just how you want to set that up. Way cool. All right, we're going to step over here and take a look at the bathroom here. The two access doors on there, sliding door. LED dimmer switches on the lighting again. And that's 12 volt on the flat screen HD TV on there. Emergency exit, that's the egress window in behind the window treatments there. Those are going to be the modernistical roller shades included in there. Storage under there. You can put all kinds of fun stuff in there. And that's going to be easy close on that. It doesn't come slamming shut on your fingers or what have you. Wow, we've covered all kinds of stuff in here, didn't we? Sorry we had to go so fast. But uh, what an exciting unit, really. It does, does have a little of everything in here. So that'll pretty well wrap things up in this 2023 Alliance Valor model number 40B13. With a final reminder that this presentation came to you, compliments of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Thank you and happy trails.